This tutorial will describe the game and practice planning software from PratleySports.org. The game and practice planning software from PratleySports.org will save coaches hours of time. We're going to start out with a tutorial on showing you how to enter in your basic data. We'll start from the offensive side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball will work exactly the same way as the offense does. The first step is to enter in your basic offensive information. Things like formations, plays, shifts and motions, play tags like going on one or on two, entering in your personnel groupings, and entering in your read names. Of course you can choose what you want to enter in, but at minimum you have to have formations and offensive plays. I'm going to start by showing you an offensive formation, how to add those into our database. An easy to use form at the top, you're going to type in the name of your formation. For us we're going to call this double stack. I'm going to call this a 2x2 two two formation, and I'm going to use the add formation button. You'll get a confirmation to say that the formation was entered successfully. Your screen will, re will reload and you will see your new formation listed. Double stack will be at the bottom. I can then hit edit and change the name of it, or I can hit delete and remove it from my database altogether if I don't want it in there. That's how to enter in formations. You can then hit your back button, go back to your offensive system information. The next part is to enter in your offensive plays. It is the same type of screen that you'll see when you enter in formations. You have the ability to type in your play name. A little bit of a nuance in here on what type of a play it is. So for example, I'm going to call this the double reverse. It's going to ask me what type of a play it is. In this case, it is a run. And then it's going to ask you what formation you can run this out of. You have the ability to select multiple. So for now, I'm going to choose the top four. All right, so I can add the play into the database. You'll see it has been entered successfully. Again, your screen will refresh, and you will now see your new double reverse into your plays listed at the bottom. So these are done alphabetically by play name. You'll see double reverse listed here as a run, and you can see the formation types that we can run it out of. I'm then going to hit the delete key if I don't want it. You get the general idea of how this usability works. Once you've entered in your formations and your play names, it's time for us to move on to the next step. Again, you have the ability to put in just about anything you want as far as personnel groupings, um, play tags if you want to add going on one, going on two, options or things like that you can put in. Now we're going to go into the next step which is to enter in your play combinations. You've now entered in your formations, you've entered in your plays, now we're going to make the combination of the two. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose my formation set. In this case I'm going to use a two back set. I have the plays that I have entered in here, in this case I'm going to run a power. You can use a play tag if you want to, you do not have to. And I'm going to read, again you don't have to choose that, but in this case I'm going to read Charlie or the C-Gap Defender in our playbook. I'm going to hit add play, it'll say the play has been entered successfully. Again they will be listed in alphabetical order by play combination. So you'll see at the very top, two back, power, Charlie. And if I don't want it, very simple to delete or edit the formation. Once you've entered in your play combinations, you can see I have uh, quite a few in here. I'll go back to my offensive information. You can, you can put in as many as you want. You can always come back to the screen and add more later. The next step is to put in your opponent's information. What do you call their blitzes for the week? Do you have a name for the stunts they run? Uh, what up front? Do they run a 4-3 or a 5-2? And what coverage are they in? Three, uh, cover 3, cover 1, etc. All that can be entered the same way it's done up top. After you've done that, it's time to enter in your drills. So I'm going to choose the flex back drills for now. I can enter them in in any way that I want. You can see I've got a couple of them in here, like really long drill and test. Again, if I don't want those, I can delete them and it will disappear. Now I'm going to add in a drill name. So for me, I'm going to call this drill the hands drill. And you can name it any drill that you want. If you want to add another one, we're going to call it around the clock. Whatever your drill names are, 
going to add the drills to the database. You'll see the drills have been entered in successfully. And when I refresh, you'll see that I now have around the clock and hands drill. Once you've entered in your drills for all of your offensive players, it is time to move on to your game planning. So we have completed all the steps here in the enter offensive information. I'll go back to my game and practice planner. Again, I can enter defense in the exact same way that I did here. So I would enter in defensive information, etc. The next step for me is to enter in my opponents. Who am I playing? So I'm going to put that in. You can choose the season that you want those opponents listed. So for today, we're going to add in Florida. I'm going to say that I play them in 2017 and 2018. And I will add the opponents to the database. Again, after the refresh, you'll be able to see your new opponents listed in the database below. There's Florida, 27, or 2017, and 2018 opponents. Once you've entered in all of your opponents and what years you're going to play them, it is time for you to get into the fun part, and that is the actual weekly game planning. So I'm going to go into Opponent Game and Practice Planning. I'm going to choose 2017 as I prepare for my opponent. Who do I want to prepare for in this particular case? I'm going to prepare for Florida as we just added them into our database of opponents. The first step is to create our offensive or defensive game plan. For now I'm going to start with an offensive game plan. This is where you're going to enter in all of the data that you've already put into the database. You now have pull down menus which make this easy. You can choose your personnel groupings. You can choose a formation or start, again, only if you want to add a shift or a motion to it. If you don't, you can skip down to the second set. I'm going to use a 3 by one set. I'm going to use my blues formation. And I'm going to run the trips concept snag. Again, you can choose anything that you want. But for me, I'm going to use trips concept snag. The next thing I'm going to do is ask, what scenarios do I want to use this in? For us, that's a good first and second down play. We use it on third and medium and third and short. It's usually in my opening 10 plays, and it's one that I'm going to come back to often, so I'm going to add it as a common call. I'm going to add play to the database, and you'll see that the play has been entered in successfully. Once we've refreshed, we can scroll down and we will be able to see what we have added. In our case, we've added 3 by one blues, trips, concepts, snag, and you'll see the scenarios in which we're going to run them. Once I've entered in all the play combinations that I want for the week, I can go back to my opponent preparation. And you'll notice that I now have a printable offensive game plan with the plays that I have added in against Florida. So you'll see here we've got Blues, Trips, Concepts, Snag in our common calls. You'll see it again in opening script, first and second downs. You'll see it in third and mediums. So this gives you a pretty good idea of how our game planner works. Once you've entered in the scenario, it will automatically put it into the category for you to run. The nice part about this is you right click, hit print, and you have your weekly game plan ready to go. That is not all, however. We still want to go out and create our practice plans. So what I'm going to do next is go into the practice planning, which is really the, the time saver in this software version. So what we've got are 20 time slots for you to use. We're going to say that our practice starts at 1 o'clock and we're going to go by five minute increments. I'm going to choose stretch and stride as my first session. I'm then going to go to 105 to 110 and we're going to go into offense. We're going to do what we call our individual run drills. You'll notice now into my database has popped up our drills. Again, if you've entered in these drills like I put in flex back drills earlier, you just choose them from the pull down menu and you can have them run any drills you want for that five minute period works for all offense, offensive positions. The next thing we're going to do is at 110 to 115, I'm going to get into what we call our offensive skelly. For us, that is pass skeleton. You'll notice that we've got our pass plays now loaded into our database. We're going to use blues trips concept snag, and I want to run it against the cover three. I'm going to run the same play again this time against the cover zero. And you get the idea of how we can add into our database what we want to do for that practice plan. The next thing I'm going to do is go into a one, excuse me, 115 to 120. The 
This time I want to run a little bit of a team drill. So I'm going to choose offense. I'll choose team period. And I'm going to choose the scenario. Now in this case I want to work on my third down and long situations. I have not put in any plays into the database, so therefore there will be nothing in there to work on. I have, however, put in a third medium. And you will now see that that blues trips concept snag will show up in my practice plan for me to do during that team period. If I wanted to change the scenario to first and second downs, you'll see I now have three plays that I can run during that period. Again, the great part of this software is you right click, you hit print, and you take your practice plans out onto the field for you. You can switch from offense to defense easily. We'll go to defense. This time we're going to use our individual run. You'll see now it's changed from our offensive drills to our defensive drills like linebackers, and safeties, etc., etc. Same thing works for our special teams. What are we going to do in this case? We're going to work on our team special teams time. And we're going to work on kickoff returns. And you can add that into your section. And all you have to do is change the time frame that you want these done in and you've built your practice plan the way that you want it, custom to you. That is the tutorial for our game and practice planner from PratleySports.org. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'd love to have you as a customer, and we appreciate your business. Again, thank you for watching, and visit us at PratleySports.org.